Hi, welcome back. What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to show you how to sharpen a an image um, in a completely different way from the usual sharpen. I mean, how we would normally do it. If I just move the window up up here. If we were to sharpen this image, we would normally go to um, filter, say sharpen, maybe unsharpen mask, and there you go. That's that's been sharpened, and you'll get this little window here. Um, and then you can pick around your image where you want it sharpened. That's a lot of sharpening. Get, get going there. I turn that off and on. But I want to show you a completely different way of I'm going to cancel that of sharpening an image, um, which I think is really effective. Now this shot was taken um, at the Welsh Harp Reservoir at the full focal length of my lens, which is a 300, and the shot, as you can see, is quite blurry. I'm hoping I'm zooming around here to try and give you the full effect of the blurriness of this picture. Although it could be a good picture, so that's why I've kept it. So, let's get started. Let's see how we can um, sharpen this a different way. Here's our background image. I want to duplicate the background image, and the quickest way of doing this, if I move the window down, is to grab the background, drag it down to this icon here, and then let it go. Now we have a copy of the background image. Then what we're going to do is going to come up, if I move the window up, up here, to our filter menu, and we're going to come down to other, and we're going to select high pass. Click that, and look at that. Our whole image has gone completely crazy. Now I've got it on about 10 pixels. Um, you can up this if you need to, but I tend to try and keep it at 10 pixels. I'm going to OK that. OK, that's done. Our picture at the moment looks completely and utterly crap. <laughs> to put it in a technical way. So what we're going to do then, we're going to come here. This is now selected here. We're going to come to this drop-down box here. And we're going to select in the overlay. You can pick any of these, really. But we're going to cl click Overlay. And bang. And that is really all there is to it. We've just done the whole the whole image basically, but you can take this one step further. So I actually want the whole image done, but so let's just say I, I only wanted to sharpen this area here. Um, what we could do is come up to the menu. I'll have to move the window again. This is still selected. Come up to our menu, and we're going to click. Where is it? Select da -da -da -da, layer. Where are you? Layer mask. And we're going to click hide all. Now this is the same effect as what I used to do before when I was clicking alt delete. This is just another way of doing it. Which will give us a black mask. If we come down here, we've now got a black mask. What we've basically done is we've just um, taken away the effect. And all I need to do now is paint white using my paintbrush where I want the sharpen areas to come, you know, to, to show through. So if I just paint here, for instance, you can see it working. I'm hoping that I've zoomed in. There you go. And if you look at the mask now, you can see where I've painted. And oh no, the space bar's not working because my window, I'm going to size the window a little bit. There we go. Now the space bar, move it along. Let's just bring that out there. Let's bring that out there. See the effects it's having on the water. This is why I really wanted the whole image done. But I'm just trying to show you how you can mask it. There you go. And that's how you can um, control where you want it sharpened. But I want the whole image sharpened, so I'm just going to select the mask. I think it's Alt Delete. There you go. Let's try, uh, sorry, Alt Delete. I'll do Control Delete then. I've made that a white mask, so now the, the sharpening has come completely through. Um, I want to blacken this bit here because it's blurred. There's no point sharpening a blurred bit, so I'm going to paint black into that bit there, just so that that bit is not affected by the sharpening technique. And if you look on the mask, you see a little black dot where I've painted black into the mask. In fact, I could take take it a bit further and just blacken all that up there because that's all blurred and there's no point in sharpening um, 
really show up in a blurred area. So let's take all that out. There, I'm not going to go too mad. It's a soft edge brush, so it's like feathering it as I do it. There you go. That's just, I didn't have to do all that, but just for keeping simple, zoom it down again a bit. Now, let's have a look at the image. Let's move this so it's smaller, fits in there. Now I'm going to turn off the effect. There it is before. Turn it back on. And look at that. Great stuff. The water, even the water is now nice and sharp. So that's turned into a pretty good image using this sharpening technique. And it actually works better than using the conventional sharpening te technique. And I, you'll see me use this quite a lot in the future. It's very good. Anyway, have fun with that.